Hello students and welcome back to the channel Learn for Dreams. Learn with fun, say goodbye to boredom. Today we will see introduction to APT language. Let's start with the types of statements in APT language. There are total four types of statements used. Those are geometry statements, motion statements, post processor statements and auxiliary statements. Let's see all statements one by one. Geometry statements. The format of geometry statement is symbol is equal to geometry keyword slash descriptive data. Here is an example. P1 is symbol. Geometry keyword is point. Descriptive data is X, Y and Z coordinates of a point. Let's see some of the words used to describe the descriptive data. First one is center. It is used to indicate the center of a circle. Radius used to indicate the radius of a circle. Left or right, these words are used to indicate two alternatives left or right. At angle, this is used to specify the angle. Tan2 is used to indicate the tangency of one geometric element to another. Now, an important point is that these words are used to be 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 Because APT language is case sensitive. Okay? Now, let's see few more words. Int of is used to indicate the intersection of two geometric elements then P E R P T O this is used to define two elements which are perpendicular to each other then P A R L E L this is used to define two geometric elements which are parallel to each other X large, X small, Y large and Y small are used to indicate the relative position in X and Y direction of one geometric element with respect to another when there are two possibilities. The next one is motion statements. The format is motion command slash descriptive data. Motion command will specify what to do and descriptive data will specify where to go. Let's see some examples. Go to slash p4 and go delta slash 530 where go to and go delta are motion commands. Jesse G code M code wale programs mein G00, G01, G02 ye sab motion commands the. Now let's see types of motion statements. First one is setup commands. Few of them are listed below. From this command is used to specify the starting point of the cutter. Format of writing this is from slash p1. p1 is point. Then cutter. This command is used to describe the cutter diameter. Format is cutter slash 25. Then for inside tolerance and outside tolerance, format is in tall slash 0.002 and out tall slash 0.005. Okay. Next type is point to point motion command. Two commands are go to and go delta. Go to is used to instruct the tool to go to a particular point location. And go delta is used to specify an incremental move for the tool. Jesse G90 or G91 tha absolute and incremental programming ke liye. Then the last type is contouring motion command. There are three surfaces taken into consideration for the contouring. They are drive surface. This surface guides the side of the cutter. Then check surface. This surface stops the tool movement in its current direction. Then the part surface. 
this surface may or may not be an actual surface of the workpiece but it is the surface on which the bottom of the cutter rides now let's see which are the words used for motion command when tool moves forward we use word go f w d when tool moves backward we use word go back then if a tool is moving upward then word is used as go up and if a tool is moving downward then the word used is go down when tool moves to the left side we use word go l f t and when tool moves to the right side we use word go r g t ye words jaise diye hain waise hi likhne hain koi change nahi karna hai let's see words used for stopping movement of a tool when you want to stop the tool at this position you will use word to t o when you want to stop the tool at this position you will use word on when you want to stop the tool here then you will use word past and when you are stopping tool at this position you will use word tan to because it is tangent to the other surface third type of statements is post processor statements these statements are used to specify the machine tool function these are few statements and their format for coolant on or off spindle on or off spindle speed etc jaise humne waha pe kuch m codes use kiye the waise then the last type is auxiliary statements auxiliary statements are used to prepare the computer for accepting the part program it improves the readability of the part program and also controls the output of the computer these are the examples so these were the basics for the apt programming language hope you enjoy learning if you find this video useful then hit the like button and share it with your friends also subscribe to the channel learn for dreams and don't forget to hit the bell icon